are from second group of conversion energy class and this is our project prototype of micro hydro vortex guys let me show you part by part of this system river model water pump turbine generator flow diode and also battery this is the water pump water pump pumping the water into the high level of the river and the water flows turn this way to turn the turbine the turbine connect to the generator by the south from the potential energy of water it's turn the turbine when the turbine turn it make kinetical energy that attach to the generator that make magnetism energy from the magnetism energy of the generator it produces the electrical energy and the electrical flow flows to the flow diode and from the flow diodes it's charging the battery Look at the special part. Without this part, we can control the electrical flows. To make it clear, let's look the video project of Turbulent Hydros Company in Bali. Turbulent micro hydro power plant systems work by diverting water from the main stream to a bypass canal, which brings the water flow into the turbine. The water passing through makes the turbine rotate slowly, which creates a low pressure vortex. The water is then fully recycled back into the main stream. Let's take a look at what a typical turbulent project looks like. A trash rack that protects the turbine from large debris. Thanks to the low RPM and curved blades, small debris and aquatic life can pass through the turbine unharmed. A sluice gate is located at the entrance of the bypass canal, which helps regulate the flow that enters the turbine. Everything from the flow regulation to the startup and shutdown of the turbine is controlled autonomously from the electrical cabinet with no need for human assistance. The control dashboard offers live monitoring of the turbine's performance and status for your devices thanks to its connection to the mobile network. The generated energy can then be injected back to the grid or into off-grid communities. Thanks to the high durability, low maintenance and low environmental impact, the turbine provides a fast and sustainable return on investment. Turbulent aims to support local development in three ways. First, by providing clean energy to local people. Schools, hospitals and public infrastructures can benefit from having a reliable source of renewable energy, even in the most remote areas. The Green School in Bali, Indonesia installed a turbine that generates sufficient energy for its 600 students. The system is currently running, coupled with the school's other renewable energy sources. Secondly, our turbines can help to save the planet. How? By providing clean, reliable energy, with zero carbon emissions and in a cost-effective way. About 120 households can be powered with one of our smallest turbine models in remote areas, where the yearly energy consumption can sometimes be as low as 400 kilowatt hours. Last but not least, our hydropower plants can create a new, future-proof, sustainable profit by lowering the cost of electricity and, in some cases, by selling the energy back to the grid. Governments and political leaders are encouraging renewable energy in many countries, and Turbulent is helping them reach their sustainability targets for green energy and low-carbon emissions.
Eco-friendly energy projects like ours often get supported by governments, development banks and other organizations involved in rural development. Finally, the conclusion. Guys, imagine if we are adapting this system for our city, especially for Chikapunung River, the longest river in Bandung City. Not only for such electrical power that will be ours, but more than it, our river will become clearer by the filter river near of the hydrovortex. It will become a comfortable place for the wildlife and when we feel tired, we can swim with the fish in our healthy river. So guys, this is our time, our change, our generation, our turn for the better future. Bismillah. You are from second group of conversion energy class. Thank you for paying us attention. See you.